In this video tutorial, you will learn how to create, edit, and test the logic of interlocking and logic of control switching devices. Before starting to work with the configuration it is recommended that you watch the video tutorial opening and saving of configuration file. After successfully opening the configuration file, select the logic item in the project tree. The logic can use logic elements that are located in the side tab logic library. If there is no tab, the library can be opened through the view menu. To add an element to the logic, you must drag it from the library. Deletion is carried out by pressing the delete key on the keyboard or through the context menu activated by the right mouse button. The window for setting logic elements is opened by double-clicking the left mouse button or selecting the properties item in the context menu. In the window that appears, you can specify the name of the element and change its type. To invert the input, select Inverse in the drop-down list of the mode parameter. Inputs are added via the context menu or in the element properties by selecting the mode or specifying the signal address in the bottom line of the list. Inputs can also be deleted in the context menu or in the element properties by selecting the input line and pressing the delete key. In addition to the basic logic elements, the following are available to the user. Triggers. Three types of triggers are provided in ED2 devices. T with S input priority. TR with R input priority. TROM with R input priority and non-volatile memory. Switch. The signal assigned to the D input determines the generation of the signal at the output from the signal at input A or at input B. Pulse counter counts the pulses received at input C. When the number of pulses specified by the setting is exceeded, a logical one is latched at the output of the counter. The output signal is reset by generating a signal at the R input. If the signal at input R is generated before reaching the operate setting, then the counted number of pulses is reset and counting starts again. Please note that by default this input is inverted, if necessary, the input mode can be changed. Pulse Former When the state of the signal at the input changes from logical 0 to 1, an impulse is generated at the output, the duration of which is determined by the setting. Pulse former with interruption generates a pulse similar to the pulse former, but if the input signal goes from logical 1 to 0 before the specified setting, then the pulse at the output of the element also goes to logical 0. Pulse generator As long as a logical one is generated at the input, a sequence of pulses with specified parameters will be generated at the output. The duration of the pulse and its period are determined by the settings. Counter of OLTC drive steps, on load tap changing, is a logic element designed to determine the number of the current steps and issue signals in case of reaching the highest or smallest OLTC steps, on load tap changing. It is possible to determine the dead steps. Signals add, reduce, and reset are assigned to the input of the element. The reset signal sets the counter values equal to the initial step. At the output of the element, signals maximum step, minimum step and dead step are generated. The element settings specify the maximum and minimum steps, the initial step and the numbers of dead steps. Pulse former with non-adjustable pulse duration. The F trig element generates a pulse with a duration of 1 millisecond ms when the signal at the element's input changes from logical 1 to logical 0. The r trig element generates a pulse with a duration of 1 millisecond ms when the signal at the element's input changes from logical 0 to logical 1. These pulse formers are used for technological purposes where it is not necessary to adjust the pulse duration. Settings of logic elements in the configurator are specified in the following ways. 
The first way is to open the properties of the logic element in the logic diagram and specify the setting value. The second way is through the logic elements section. In the window that appears, all logic elements with settings are displayed. All elements are divided into tabs, since each element type has its own set of parameters. Changing the settings of the element is made in the corresponding fields. Changing the settings through the Smart Monitor software and the IED menu is available provided that the logic element is checked in the column editing via HMI. In the circuit, logic elements can be connected in several ways. The first is a visual link connection. To do this, hold down the left mouse button at the output of one element and release it at the input of another. The second way is to connect by address. To do this, you need to set the output address of one element, for example, address underscore one, and assign the same address to the input of another element. In the third method, an address must be specified at the output of the element, and the connection itself with another element is made as follows. Hold down the Ctrl plus Shift key combination and select the element output with the left mouse button, then hold down the same key combination Ctrl plus Shift and click on the input of another element. The logic diagram provides a tool that is used to search for a logic signal or logic element. To do this, select the desired search mode from those presented, by elements or by addresses. If the address or name is known for certain, then you can turn on the exact match function. Next, enter the name in the search line and use the navigation buttons to view the options found. When editing the logic diagram, you need to pay attention to the colors of element inputs and outputs. If an input or output is highlighted in blue and marked with a cross, it is not connected to any other element or not added to the signal table of the IED. Highlighting in green means it is connected. To correctly create logic, it is required that there are no unconnected inputs or outputs in the logic. You can check the logic diagram for unconnected inputs and outputs by compiling the logic. If they are found, a corresponding message will be displayed and the special panel will be opened. Each input and output in the list are displayed as an element name with an input or output number. By clicking the left mouse button on the input or output, switching to the corresponding element on the logic diagram is carried out. If some inputs or outputs of functional units or matrices will not be used in the logic diagram, they can be disabled by checking the corresponding box. Disabled inputs or outputs are ignored during compilation and do not affect the correct operation of the logic. Let's move on to drawing up a logic diagram of interlocking for one of the switching devices of feeder, for example, an earthing switch ES2. In the logic diagram, we add end or logic elements. It is necessary to supply position signals of adjacent disconnectors to the inputs of that end element. Add the required number of inputs. To determine the reliably tripped position of the switching device, we supply the signal of the tripped position and the inverted signal of the closed position. We take the addresses of necessary signals from the IED signals table. If the signals are in a row, the addresses can be copied as a group and paste them into the address field of element inputs. Next, the output of the end element is connected to one of the inputs of the OR element. The signal interlocking off is applied to the second input. At the output of the element, we specify the address of the signal enabling control of earthing switch ES2. Next, go to the IED signals table and add this address. We also specify the corresponding name of the signal. On the logic diagram, we will make sure that the signal binding is correct. After editing the logic, you need to compile it by clicking on the compile button. After making the necessary changes and successful compilation, save the configuration using the file menu or by clicking on the save button on the toolbar. Adjustment of the created logic can be done in two ways. The first is to start the simulation mode in the configurator software and simulate the operation of inputs. To do this, on the logic diagram, click on the necessary signals with the left mouse button. Signals displayed in red indicate the state of the signal corresponding to the logical one. 
Signals displayed in black indicate the state of the signal corresponding to the logical zero. When all conditions are generated for enabling the control of the switching device, the signal at the output of the logic element will be displayed in red. If, in the presence of all conditions, the signal is not displayed in red, then we recommend checking the correctness of compilation of the interlocking logic or the correctness of setting the conditions for generating control enabling. The second way is to observe the generation of control enable signals in the smart monitor software. To do this, load the modified configuration into the IED in accordance with the video tutorial updating and restoration of configuration and software. After loading the modified configuration into the smart monitor software, log in as a user with the appropriate rights. Next, go to the test's logic emulation item and start the emulation mode. Next, check the boxes next to the signals necessary to form the conditions for enabling the control of the switching device. After that, we open an additional window in the smart monitor software to monitor the state of the logic diagram. To do this, go to the actual values, logic item, and on the logic diagram we find the checked element of the interlocking logic. When all conditions are generated for enabling the control of the switching device, the signal at the output of the logic element will be displayed in red. If, in the presence of all conditions, the signal is not displayed in red, we recommend that you check the correctness of the interlocking logic or the correctness of setting the conditions for generating control enabling. The ED2 devices provide for the possibility of controlling switching devices remotely and from the mimic diagram of the IED. To control switching devices, the IED logic provides for the functional unit control of switching device. It can be added by dragging and dropping from the library of elements in the functional units folder. This functional unit implements the functions of controlling the switching device from the mimic diagram of the IED, remote control from the upper level of the PCS over digital communication channels, blocking control in case of failures of the switching device and from the interlocking logic, as well as diagnostics in case of incorrect execution of control commands. Each switching device requires its own functional control unit. The following signals are assigned to the input of the functional unit. Signal enabling control from the interlocking logic, the drawing of which was discussed earlier. Signal of local or remote key position in the drive of the switching device. Signal that the drive is not ready for switching, for example, a drive failure. Signals of switching device position. Signals of remote control command. For example, control commands from the PCS via the MMS protocol. Signal local control. The signal assigned to this input from the circuit breakers of mimic diagram element is generated when the user enters the control mode from the mimic diagram using the front panel of the IED. Signal selected on control display. The signal assigned to this input from the circuit breakers of mimic diagram element is generated when the user, using the front panel of the IED, has placed the cursor on the switching device in the control mode from the IED's mimic diagram. Signals from the keyboard on the front panel of the IED are necessary to control the switching device from the mimic diagram in accordance with the dialog boxes. For instructions on setting up dialog boxes, see the video tutorial Mimic Diagram. The output of the functional unit has the following signals. Signals of commands for controlling the switching device. Signal control availability. The signal is generated in the absence of a drive not ready signal and the presence of a remote control signal from the drive of the switching device. Signal control command fail. The signal will be generated for one second if there is no change in the position of the switching device within a specified time after the command is issued. Drive failure. The signal is generated if the switching device has not reached the end positions within the specified time after the command was issued. The setting for the operation of these signals is specified in the logic elements section. The time delay tab. Setting T control command fail false switching 
A signal with a duration of 1 millisecond is generated if the switching device has changed its position in the absence of a command to close or trip and is intended for signaling to the PCS. Switching signals from the MIMIC diagram indicate the switching command generated via the MIMIC diagram of the IED. All signals at the output of the control of switching device functional unit are available for assignment to the output relay of the IED event and disturbance recording. This video tutorial is over. We hope it was useful to you. Thank you for attention.